Gravity is the one universal uh, uh, force that, that seems to affect a lot of, of, of our concerns. Uh, and the question is always, uh, how much gravity is enough gravity for a trip to Mars or a trip elsewhere in the solar system? And the corollary question, of course, is, is the 3 8 G of Mars enough to protect the crew members against the, the deleterious effects of low gravity? Same question can be asked about the moon. Is one-sixth of a G on the moon enough to protect uh, anybody? Uh, the answer is, obviously, we don't know. Uh, we have only had 12 people that, that inhabited the moon for up to three days total at a time, and very, very few physiological measurements were, me were done on the, the crew members, so there's very little data, uh, almost no data of any value uh, about the, the physiological effects of one-sixth of a G on protecting crew members from the effects of, of low gravity. And of course, we have no experience whatsoever at three-eighths of a G, except for 20 seconds at a time in a parabolic aircraft. That's far too little to, to help us understand the, uh, the effects of fractional gravity. So it's, there is a, a large area of unknown between 1G and 0G, and each scientist gets to fill in that space with his or her favorite curve. You might speculate that, that 3 eighths of a G is, 3 eighths as good as 1G, whatever that means. You may speculate that 3 eighths of a G is as efficient as 1G in protecting the body. You may speculate that 3 eighths of a G has no beneficial effects at all. And each of those answers is, as of today, completely correct. We just don't know the answer. There was hope of putting a centrifuge on the space station for small animals and, and plants to allow us to fill in that, that uh, unknown area between 1G and 0G. That centrifuge was was de-scoped uh, from the space station in early, earlier planning revisions. So right now we have uh, no direct information. There are some studies that are being done, uh, bed rest studies, immersion studies in the water, uh, uh, suspension studies of animals that, suspect, that suggest that there are uh, non-linearities in the relationship between the G level and the, uh, the effectiveness of, of gravity in protecting the, the body against, against the, the, the effects of spaceflight. But they're all speculative right now. Uh, the earliest results that I've heard and just heard recently uh, suggest that uh, three eighths of a G may not be enough to make any difference. But but that was a, a study that that needs to be repeated and needs to be expanded on. So I will not be surprised to find out that we are at a sweet spot at one G and perhaps uh, something much lower than that is as of little value. Uh, nor will I be uh, disheartened to find out that three eighths of a G or even one sixth of a G are beneficial. Just don't know. If that sounds depressing, uh, the important news is that the human body seems to accommodate the weightlessness quite nicely. And uh, if we accept a certain amount of, of decrement in the human body within uh, the limits uh, allowed on a mission, I think the suite of countermeasures that we're testing right now in the space station, the exercise, the nutrition, and the, the medications, and other things like that, can keep the astronauts healthy and, and happy for the duration of their flight to Mars and landing on the Mars and coming back from Mars and also facilitate their return to normal life in a reasonable amount of time, namely months after the flight versus uh, immediately after the flight. So it, it would be uh, highly convenient to have artificial gravity in a long duration flight to, to offload the, the effects of, of, of space flight on the human body, but I don't think it's mandatory. I think we can get there safely and efficiently and effectively with the countermeasures that we are, are developing now or can envision in the future.